trouble downloading the link uh, to PayPal to pay on my website so I've got now a PDF version which I can email to people if they send me the money in advance I've also got the new once a week cookbook on Kindle so £1.50 not a lot of money for a cookbook that wants to change your life and save you lots of fuel more money to spend on other things so I'm about to upload a new recipe um, a Mediterranean vegetable and goat's cheese tart which uh, is vegetarian obviously I do have two vegetarians coming to dinner on Christmas day so I'm just checking this one out and um, I'm quite sure it's absolutely delicious so I'm going to make some more put them in the freezer ready for Christmas Day. So here we go, let's try this new one. Right, uh, Mediterranean vegetable and goat's cheese tart. A lovely vegetarian recipe uh, that you can make now and put in your freezer ready for Christmas if you've got vegetarians coming for dinner. Um, I'm going to bake one today to show you what it looks like, well two actually. Um, I've got a small red, a small orange and a small yellow pepper, uh, a few tomatoes, cherry tomatoes cut in half and a small red onion cut into wedges. I've got a clove of garlic which I've finely chopped, I'm going to sprinkle this over. going to roast these vegetables in the oven until they're soft. I'm going to sprinkle with some fine sea salt. And grate over some black pepper. And I'm going to spray this with a little olive oil. I've got the puff pastry here which I've bought. I'm just going to use half of that today and the other can go in the freezer because it's chilled not frozen. So I'm going to just give these a spray. And I've got the oven set at 180. So I'm going to give these about half an hour I want them to be char grilled uh, for maximum flavour and then when we put the tart together I've got um, some 150 grams of French goat's cheese that's the protein element so because the vegetarians have to have some protein so uh, this will be lovely when it's all done so I'm putting this in the oven now for about half an hour Right, the vegetables have roasted now and I've left them 15 minutes to cool down. So now we're going to roll out the pastry ready to make parcels. So this is 125 grams of puff pastry from a packet which is perfectly good. quite a long window process making puff pastry so even the top chef shoes it in this case the bought stuff so if it's good enough for them it's good enough for me 
So I'm going to roll it out until it's quite thin. About half a centimetre thick. to beat make here just brush around the edges with the beaten egg and then it'll seal nicely so I'm going to put rough, roughly half of these vegetables in the one parcel Four pieces of goat's cheese on top. So fold that over now and crimp the edges. Press it together to seal it. Now I've turned the oven up to 200, which is 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark 6 I believe. We don't want a lot of air in there otherwise it, it might puff up and burst. So I'm just going to put three slits on the top to let the air out. And then we're going to brush it with beaten egg. And then we're going to bake it. I'm going to pop this on the onto a baking tray and then do another one exactly the same. And then we're going to bake it for about half an hour until it's well risen and golden. Actually, I've got torn basil leaves as well. I forgot to show you those. This all adds to the absolutely beautiful flavours that are in this dish. So, here we are. Mediterranean vegetable and goat's cheese tart. I'll just... Just serve one of these beauties up. I wish you could have smelly vision so you could smell the gorgeous aromas from this. Just going to cut into it just so I can show you what it's like inside. I'm sure any vegetarian would be absolutely delighted to have this on Christmas Day or any other day besides that. So. There you go, there's the cheese and all the lovely veg, absolutely gorgeous. So I, I hope you agree that that is really easy peasy, even if it's not cheap as chips. So I will see you later, bye.